All right, so I found 10 of the best work from home jobs, and these are gonna be at the entry level and also at the mid level. So these are gonna be good for people who are just trying to get their first job, get their foot in the door. And they're also gonna be good for people who have a little bit of experience, but they want to upgrade. So if that's you, then this video is gonna be amazing for you. I'm gonna give you a bunch of great ideas. And let's jump in right away with the first one on the list, which is going to be tech sales. Now tech sales is a job I've talked about extensively on this channel. I made a bunch of different videos about it. It is one of the easiest ways to make $100,000 per year, pretty much right off the bat. And in fact, it's one of the only careers that I know of where an 18 year old can go in with no work experience, no college degree, etc., and make $100,000 a year in their first year. And I've seen it happen with my own eyes. Now you're probably wondering what the heck is tech sales? Well, typically, if you work in tech sales, you're going to be working for what's known as a B2B company. That's a business that sells products or services to other businesses. And so in this type of sales, it's not so much focused on, you know, making the sale, being a closer, making sure that you close them at all costs, whether you lie to them or you're kind of scammy or anything like that. It doesn't matter. You just have to make the sale. And it's much more about forming yeah. relationships with other business people. And then over time, making sure that your product aligns with their company needs. And so if you close a contract with one of these other companies, it's probably going to be in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollar range. And typically, if you're the one who closes the deal in tech sales, you're going to get something like 10% of that. So this is a combination of being in a great profession. Sales is probably one of the best jobs you could possibly get and just one of the best skills in general that you could possibly know. And also being in a great industry that has tons of money and tons of opportunity, which of course is the tech industry. Now, an entry level job you would get in order to get into one of these higher level roles is probably going to be business development representative or sales development representative. And then once you get into a higher level role, you can expect to make something like $141,000 a year working in tech sales. Now with those entry level roles, you can still make really good money. In fact, people sometimes make it to the yeah. six figure level, even in those entry level roles. And one of the great things about working a sales job is even if you decide you don't want to do it for the rest of your life, or you probably don't even want to do it for a long period of time, the skills that you learn from sales are going to follow you everywhere you go. It doesn't matter if you work in a completely different industry. It doesn't matter if it's in your personal life, you know, communicating with friends or family. These are incredibly valuable skills. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is another great career, and that is going to be IT help desk. And this is an entry level career. And this is basically where you're going to be assisting users as well as your fellow coworkers with all of their technological needs. That's right. You can That's get paid to ask people if they've tried turning it on and off again. But all joking aside, this is probably the easiest entry level technology career to get into. And you can get into IT help desk without any experience, without a degree, and in some cases without any certificates or certifications as well. Although the certifications do help a bit. And I've actually interviewed people on this channel who have been able to land jobs in something like seven days, 10 days, and 14 days in IT help desk. And they all did it by using a company called Course Careers. And my friend Josh is actually the instructor at course careers. And he made an entire free training where he goes over all of your questions that you probably have about IT help desk. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now, additionally to the free training, they also offer a cohort based experience where you get to work with a coach and they'll teach you exactly how you can get into those jobs. And if you want to check that out, you'll get $50 off of it. And I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment as well. But honestly, with the amount of value they give, I would not be surprised if they raise the price in the future. So check it out right now to see if that's the price. And I'll also put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And typically, if you work an IT help desk, you're going to make about $53,000 a year. Now, you might not think that's all that much, but remember, this is an entry level role. There are tons of other IT related roles where you can easily make it over six figures. And in some cases, you can make it to even $200,000 or $300,000 a year. And one of the great things about the technology industry is it's relatively easy to switch jobs. So a lot of people will start off in IT and then they'll go to something like cybersecurity and then they'll go to software development and then they'll, you know, maybe become a tech sales manager or something like that. You see this happen all the time in technology. And the reason for that is because they make it relatively easy for people to have continuous learning and for people to rise up through the ranks or go to other companies. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'm also going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another one of my favorites, which is digital marketing. This is another one I've talked about quite a bit on this channel. And this one might be a little bit better if you're a creative and introverted type of person. But 
but basically you're gonna be strategizing, optimizing and executing digital marketing campaigns. And this might be across a bunch of different digital channels such as SEO or search engine optimization. That's basically where you sell through websites or blogs. You might also do paid advertising like pay-per-click on Google or Facebook. You might also do some sort of copywriting like writing a newsletter for instance. There are so many different ways that you can get involved in digital marketing. And this is another one that you can get into at the entry level without a college degree, without any previous experience or certifications. And digital marketers make about $64,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one. I'll give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10 as well. I promise not all of them are gonna be 9.5 out of 10. The next one on the list, for instance, recruiter is still a pretty good career, but I'm not gonna give it that high of a score. And this is basically someone who connects companies with professionals who would want to work with them. And basically they find qualified candidates by sourcing, screening, and selecting the best candidates for the job position. Now, this is not an entry level job. Typically, you are going to have to have some experience before you become a recruiter. So just as a hypothetical example, you might be working as an accountant right now and you get a few years of experience and you decide, you know what, I don't want to work as an accountant anymore. Well, you would be perfect to become a recruiter for accountants because typically recruiters do specialize in one type of career. And because of the fact that you have that experience as an accountant, you're going to be able to tell very quickly who the qualified candidates are. And recruiters do make about $79,000 a year. So they're pretty well compensated. And typically they have base pay and then they have incentives based off of who they place and how well those people do. So overall, because of the fact that this one is a little bit harder to get into, I still think it's a pretty good career, but I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a legal assistant. And basically this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be assisting lawyers and you're going to be doing a lot of research, documentation and administrative tasks that revolve around the law profession. Now, a lot of people think this is saturated, but actually, according to BLS, this position is growing at about 14% over the next 10 years. Sadly, the more crime in the world, the more lawyers are going to be needed. And the more lawyers that are needed, the more legal assistants are going to be needed. And legal assistants make about $50,000 a year. Now, I would say that this one is semi entry level. Now, a lot of positions are going to prefer if you have a college degree. But with that being said, you can get into it without a college degree. And you can also get into it without any previous experience. So overall, this one's pretty good. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a wealth manager. And this is a financial expert that helps clients manage and grow their wealth. Now, as you can imagine, this is not really an entry level role, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to get into something like this. It is kind of a mid level role. Typically, you would, of course, have to have some experience in some sort of financial career, such as financial analyst or personal financial advisor. But wealth managers make a hundred and seventy six thousand dollars a year. And typically this is a role that is going to be done remotely. So this one is a little harder to get into, but I still think it's a really good one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a travel agent. And basically you're going to be assisting people on planning and organizing their trips. And this involves booking accommodation, arranging transportation and helping to create itineraries. And this is one where in some cases you can actually make money on both sides. You can make money from the client and you can also make money from the hotel or the experience that you're hooking them up with. And it's typically going to be done remotely. So this one is especially good if you're familiar with a particular area that people like to travel to a lot, because of course, you'll be able to tell them all of the best spots to go to. So overall, this is a really good one. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a software developer. And this is one that I think everybody and their mom knows is an excellent career. Now it used to be better than it is now. It is going through a bit of a dip. It used to be that if you were a warm body and you had a pulse, you could get a software development job. Now it's not so easy. You do actually have to know your stuff. You have to really study it and actually know what you're doing, but it's still an excellent job. And I think everybody knows that this involves the coding of different types of software, such as websites or applications. And coding is one of the most valuable skills you can possibly learn because you have basically infinite leverage. It's one of the only skills out there where one person can create some piece of tech, some piece of software that millions of people could potentially use. So this one is technically an entry level role and you technically don't have to get a college degree, have previous experience or any certificates or certifications in order to land that first job. But like I said, it is getting harder and harder. So even though it is technically entry level, it's probably going to take you something like a year to land your first job. I know there's videos on the internet that say, Hey, I landed a job in three months. You know, I didn't know anything and I was able to land a job in like two or three months or something like that. And that does happen every once in a while. But if I'm being honest, that is not the norm. Six months to a year is going to be much more realistic if you don't have any previous coding.
coding experience. But still, this is a really good one. Software developers make about $105,000 a year. And that's just the entry level job. There's potential to make much, much more money than that. So when it comes to the best work from home jobs, this is probably the best one you can possibly get. I'll still give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score, just because of the fact that it's a little harder to get into now. The next one on the list is going to be a cybersecurity specialist. So the entry level job here would be cybersecurity analyst. So this is another one where technically it is an entry level job. But with that being said, because of liability reasons, companies a lot of the time do prefer to hire somebody with experience or a college degree. And I mean, think about it, if your company ends up getting hacked, and then they go to the you know hiring manager, and they you know see if you were the problem, you were the reason they got hacked, they hired you, you didn't have any experience, etc. That would make the company and the hiring manager look really bad. But with that being said, it's not impossible to get hired in the cybersecurity industry without a college degree, any previous experience, etc. But it definitely helps. And that's why a lot of people end up going into IT first and then moving into cybersecurity. But with that being said, I think the latest stat I heard was there's something like 500 to 700,000 jobs expected to be available in cybersecurity that are not going to be able to be filled. And cybersecurity is incredibly important. So there is a ton of opportunity here. And there's a lot of high paying jobs and most of them are going to be remote. So cybersecurity specialists make about $103,000 a year. Of course, the entry level job of cybersecurity analyst would make less than that. But yeah, this is another really good one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next, we've got data analyst and data is incredibly valuable. In fact, according to news headlines, it's more valuable than oil or gold. And data analyst is another one where it is technically an entry level job. You technically do not need a degree, any previous experience, etc. With that being said, most people do end up getting a degree when they go into data analytics. And basically what you're doing is you're going to be taking a bunch of data, you're going to be organizing it, making it look pretty, and then you're going to be trying to extract valuable insights from that data and then communicate communicate those valuable insights to business people in a way that can actually be taken action on. Now, one thing that's really cool about the data industry is from the trends that I'm noticing, it's actually sort of fragmenting off where they're actually hiring people for specific careers. So for instance, there's something called a nurse informaticist, which is basically a nurse data analyst. And so these skills are extremely transferable to a lot of other types of professions. And that means there's going to be even more jobs for data analysts. And there's already a lot of jobs right now. So this one is technically entry level, but like I said, I would say this one is a little bit harder to get into than a lot of the other ones on the list. But with that being said, data analysts make about $70,000 a year. So overall, I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I think it's excellent. By the way, I made a super popular video that kind of went viral. That's the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out by clicking right here.